This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Go. Top Gear, which is a British car show, is in hot water with a Mexican ambassador because of their comments about Mexican individuals, okay? They were doing a show on a car that was manufactured in Mexico, and while they were describing the car, this is what they said. Mexican cars are just going to be lazy, feckless, flatulent, overweight, leaning against the fence asleep, looking at the cactus with a blanket with a hole in the middle of the coat. So that's what one of the hosts said. And then um, they, they went on to describe Mexican food as sick with cheese on it. And then um, when they were talking about whether or not they would get in trouble for these types of comments, they said, ah, you know the Mexican uh, ambassador is slouching over in his chair asleep right now. Come on. Okay. Come on. All right, so what I want to do is I want to ask Jesus what he thinks about this. The BBC is actually defending the show. They're saying, look, it was in the name of comedy. They were just joking around. They weren't trying to push stereotypes. Um, All right. What yeah. do you think? What before do you think? we go to Jesus, uh, hold on. Before we go to Jesus, more importantly, I will speak. Uh, number <laughs> one, I that a Anna uh, watches 24 hours of television. Oh, She'll say, like, oh, I watch watch television. And then every time we talk about a TV show, I mean, you're watching a show on the BBC? You know, soon she'll be like, oh, I was watching this show on Zambian television. No. And, like, <laughs> Top Gear, let me clarify. Top Gear is a very interesting car, a car show. It's, it's funny. Actually, the, the um, hosts on the show are funny most of the time. I've never heard them poke fun at other um, nationalities or races, so this really surprises me. I, I, and they say that they do it all the time. But to be fair, I've never caught them talking about anyone else. But anyway, go ahead, Jenk. What else? Right. My second fa uh, po point here is I like how Anna says individuals now. Like, you know, once she said Jewish individuals, they would just be. <laughs> and in this case, Mexican individuals might have been offended. They would just be Mexican. But anyway, that's my pet peeve. Uh, I, of course, I'm, we're going to kick it over to the Mexican expert of Jesus, but they're doing comedy, if I understand this right. So, it, you know, I think context is everything. Within the context of comedy, I'm going to give them a lot more of a, of a pass on it. Although, even with that pass, they're, they're getting pretty close to that line. No, but here's the thing. It's not a comedy show. Look, I'm not going to go off and say, like, oh, they're being racist or anything like that. The hosts are funny, but it's a car show. And they're supposed to have fun with whatever types of obstacles they're trying to, you know, do with the cars, right? So these these comments are definitely offensive. But what do you think, Jesus? Well, just the fact the fact that they say they weren't trying to push stereotypes is annoying because they, that's exactly what they did. They just pushed stereotypes, so that's kind of annoying. But obviously, yeah, it's a bit offensive, and I, I don't buy that it was just in comedy. I mean, they could have done another route if they wanted to go that way. So. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Jesus. Like, if it was a comedian doing a stand-up, or if it was a comedy show, then I guess I would give it, you know, give it a little. I would be a little more tolerant of it. I guess that's that's the word. But um, it's it's a car show, so it, I could see why people would be offended by it. So that's my take on it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm lighter on the guys than you are because I, I know it's not a comedy show, but I think they're trying to be funny, and you know, I think that there is a line and. You know, I, I hear what you guys are saying. They might have gone over that line because that was really pretty over the top, all the stuff they said. But I, I don't think they meant it in, like, like, I didn't get a sense from the story that they had bad intent. I think, to me, that makes all the difference in the world. I think they were genuinely trying to joke around. I think if you ask them, hey, do you really think Mexicans are lazy, my guess is they would genuinely say, oh, hell no, we were joking. Um, and by the way, it is the world's worst and most inaccurate stereotype. It is, absolutely. Mexicans are the hardest working people in America. I don't know where they got this from, but they, they can't seem to shake it. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.